Hi, welcome to our last and final learning plan, Learning Plan 9, where we talk about death and dying. Um, for often, uh, many people, this can feel like a morbid topic, but if we're honest with ourselves, every one of us is going to die. Uh, we don't know when or where or how, but we do know that our life will come to an end. We hope that, um, as at least most of us do, that it will be uh, well into our aged years where we're able to still function and contribute in, that it won't be of sickness, and we all kind of have an optimal picture of what it may look like to have a life well lived. I really want you to take some time to kind of think through that concept and think about what it means to have a life well lived and what it means to die, quote unquote, a good death. Um, it's a topic that we as a society tend to shy away from, but it can be very, very beautiful. In my uh, graduate degree program, I took an entire course on death and dying, and often I, prior to taking it, I wondered what I was doing taking a course um, on that subject matter, but it was one of the most healing and cathartic um, courses I'd ever taken, a true appreciation for life, but also with the beauty that can come in dying a good death. Um, I learned a lot about hospice care and the beauty of that, as well as how it helps um, an older adult to kind of reflect on their life and have closure in relationships and where they've been. So I really want you to kind of think about this concept in the lens of your own life, as well as um, those you may work with and as um, a practitioner and what it would mean to help somebody celebrate and honor and cherish the life that they've lived.